What's up, Chimmy Squad? Welcome back to our channel! If you guys are new here, I'm Shay. I'm Eunice. And today we're gonna be trying birria tacos. Look at that! It's my first time, you guys, and it looks amazing, smells amazing, and I'm so excited. Before we get started, you already know what time it is. Time to give a shout out to the first five commenters that commented hashtag Chimmy Squad on our last mukbang. So, big, big shout out to Malaika Ahmed, Basha Larai, Pritishna Pradhan, Nadia Begum, and Cookie Love. Yay! Thank you so much. Make sure to comment now for a shout out on our next mukbang. Comment right now. So, we have some queso tacos over here. We have a burrito that we're gonna split over here, quesadilla with meat, and some consomme to dip. Yum! And choice of drink, haritas! Yum! I got orange, pineapple. <coughs> Cheers! <sighs> mm. So good, haritas always hit. Let's open the sauces. <clears throat> oh yeah. So there's two sauces they gave us. One is red and one is green based. Ooh, we also got some cilantro and onions. Cebolla y cilantro. So necessary. I like to put a lot in the consomme. And then oh. squeeze lemon in there. Ooh, and then pick it up with the... Okay. Yeah, so this is her first time trying it. I love birria tacos. Like, ugh, I'm obsessed. She actually wanted us to try it for a long time. But I don't know, when I was pregnant, it didn't really sound good to me. But now that I'm not pregnant, it Loki looks really good. Yeah, she was not budging. She's like, no. I was like, dude, you're gonna <laughs> love it. That was Mila, it wasn't me. Mm. So put everything? Mm -mm. No, don't have everything. Okay, just like... Just dump them. Well, I would put everything, but don't put everything, because I want some. Hey, you probably put like half. <laughs> and honestly, I prefer lime, but they didn't have any, so... We love our food, lemony. Yeah, If you choose Chim Squad, you know. Period. Yeah. What does this consumer taste like? It just tastes like broth. Is it spicy? It has a little bit of spice to it, but not really. It's kind of, some are kind of greasy. It's for the meat. Mm. So what they do is they cook the meat in a broth, and then um, that meat goes into the tacos. Mm. Yeah. So this is what the meat was cooked in at first. Yeah. There's still steam coming out. Yes. Oh, I see it. You know, right? Mm. Let's like grace before we eat it. Oh, there's like bits of beef still in here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's say grace. Amen. Amen. Okay, so obviously the birria tacos first. Okay. I like how they actually stick together though. You know tacos they usually like, fall out like crazy. It's from the cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they fry the uh, tortilla with the cheese. Can I put pour some lemon on this? Yeah. Of course. I'm like looking at you. I don't know what to do. So you gotta dip it in here. Okay. Be careful not to spill everything in there. Oh, it's overflowing. Ooh, they give no. us a lot. Mm -hmm. Ooh. How deep should I be? As much as the flavor that you want to absorb. Okay. It's dripping. Mmm. Bomb, huh? Dude, that's so good. Right? Told you. It's shredded beef, right? Mm -hmm. That's why it like soaks up all of its consomme and because we put lemon and it has all these spices incorporated, oh my gosh. It's so good. And the oil from the consomme kind of like binds the broth with the Everything taco. together. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. Oh. Heaven. Oh my god. I Can I just like... drink this too? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. Mm. So good. Mm. There's meat in here. Mm hmm. Mm. This mm. is it. Bust you. Mm, I'm gonna even put even more lemon. Because I love this lemonade taste that's in here. Me too. It kind of like helps with the oiliness, the greasiness of the broth. Yeah, I don't feel the greasiness. It's more like just flavor blasting in my mouth. Right? Like all these flavors just like. Psh. Oh, you guys, this is amazing. Don't be stubborn like me and try birria tacos. For real. 
Dude, it took me nine months to convince her. Mmm. <laughs> it's very good. Mmm. Mm. I could just down this soup, right? I wouldn't put rice in here. Just mix oh, it and eat it. I would too. Right? Cookbap. Mmm. Oh, that's mm. so good. So good. I feel like this requires a lot of napkins though. It does. Because right. of the oil. Mm. I like to dip and put salsa. Oh, in this too? Mm hmm I just like a lot of flavor. Like every bite with a lot of flavor is just amazing. Okay, yeah. I'm going to try the green one. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Well, this is so good. Right? Oh, I want to learn how to make this. There's some chili. Ooh, this looks like the Thai chili, the spicy one. There's chili? Mm hmm Oh. You got, you want, this one's spicy ones. Ooh! <laughs> oh, my nose. <laughs> oh. Mmm. Mmm. Good. Mmm. Mmm. It's spicy. Wow. That green sauce is so lemony. Mm. Kind of just want to drink out. I love it. Mmm. Mmm. Some radish. Ooh, you know how spicy food makes food feel even hotter? Mm hmm It's perfect. So good. Because we like it piping hot. I love piping hot food. Like, I would prefer it to just be on a portable broiler or portable stove. Mm. Just eat it hot. Mmm. Oh my god. Do you think it's like a Korean thing that we like it piping hot? So there's like Korean barbecue and like shabu and all that? Mm, it's possible, but I've got some Korean people that don't like it hot either. You know? That's true. Yeah. My friend eats pizza out the fridge. I'm like, I know, there's people like that. I'm like, How? <sighs> it's so disrespectful to the food. I know. Church had a. Mmm. Kiss it, Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. We can dip this in the. What's my right? Yeah, I mean, I would do it. Okay. Yeah, I like mixing everything, you know. It's consume. Wow, this is my first time trying this. Everything else, like burrito and quesadilla, I tried it before, but it's good, huh? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Amazing. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, I'm gonna dip it in the soup first. And then the hot sauce. I feel like it doesn't even need the hot sauce because there's so much flavor right here. It doesn't. Right? I'm just extra. Mmm. So good. So good. Mmm. I'm just gonna drink this. Honestly, just digging in. It's so good. Ooh. I wish you guys can see the steam. Mm. I'm gonna try to make this at home. Make it please. Right? I've seen some YouTube videos and they look really good. Mmm. This goes to my yeah. seems multi use, like. Yeah, definitely. I wanna put some noodles in there, I wanna put some rice in there. You do that. You put noodles? Mm hmm. Lemon noodles? Oh. Oh, yeah. Or even just like to have soup on the side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> just everything is just perfect. Man, editing this is gonna be hard. I'm gonna be like craving this. Come on, good thing we got this big size, right? This is the star of this meal. This really binds everything together. Yeah. Mm. So juicy. I love Mexican food so much. I eat it like at least once a week, at least. 
Good thing we're in LA. I know. Mexican food in Korea, it's rare that you find a good one. If you go to Korea, I recommend Kim's Taco in Gangnam. Mm. Other than that, it's really hard to find the good Mexican food. LA has it all. Mm -hmm. Just go out of your house and there's like a taco truck right there. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I love LA. Like, when you hear the ding ding ding, the Lotte Man coming through. Mm. I used to have a Lotte Man and the Ice Cream Man on Speed Dial. Tamale Man. Mm -hmm. Tamale Man too. <laughs> so good. My snot is just running. That's how good it is. Burrito? Mm. I was ordering the lady at the taco shop, like, you're gonna eat all that by yourself? <laughs> no, just one more person. <laughs> you want some? Yeah. I love Thanks. a lot of onions and cilantro on my burrito. Like, I'll yeah. order extra. That's why I love tacos de Gabilan. Have you been there before? I've seen it they have on DoorDash. They cilantro and onions just out for you to take, like, oh, already bagged. That's the best. <laughs> when I have to ask for it, I feel like, like, uh, they're not gonna give me some. Sometimes they're like, you know, nunchiba. Yeah, but... Mmm. Mmm. Pretty good. They put a lot of meat. Mm hmm There's a lot of meat in here. This place, the burrito, is about like 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. It's pretty pricey for a burrito truck burrito. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Back to the days, it used to be 5 dollars Mm-hmm. Mmm. We're getting old. We're getting old. I'm seeing the price changes on everything. I'm just like, wow. I know. I remember gas was 99 cents back in the day. What? You remember it being mm -hmm. I remember. Because I remember driving by and going like, that's so cheap. 99 cents? Oh, oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <sighs> the burrito's pretty good, but I prefer the quesadilla and the tacos more. Me too. Burrito over here is not really the star. Maybe because it's not in the consumer? Maybe we're just too... Yeah, actually, that might be right. Oh my god. Mm, I remember trying jaditos for the first time when we went to Mexico. Mmm. So good. I really want to go back to Mexico. Like sometimes when I'm bored, I'll YouTube Mark Weens in Mexico. <sighs> Looks so good. This is so spicy. It's still lingering in my mouth. You ate the whole thing? Yeah, that's why. It's good though. Right. Another burrito taco, please. Oh. oh Do you look at that drip? Oh my god. Wow. I have no words. I'm so chilly. Oh, it's so good. Oh my gosh. Lately, I've been like wanting to move out of LA because LA, I just like keep going out too much. But the Mexican food is stopping me. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, you cannot get good Mexican food anywhere outside of LA. I read somewhere that everyone's moving out of LA right now. I mean, I'm not surprised. Everything's so expensive here and it's becoming so condensed. I know. Like, there's so many new buildings and everyone's moving. It's becoming like New York, basically. Yeah. All the houses are disappearing. It's becoming all apartment complexes. It's too... There's no parking. You don't really go out anymore, so... <laughs> She's like total introvert at home now. Yeah. But... I don't know, this whole quarantine plus having a baby. Yeah. I'm just happy being home. For sure. I get bored, so I go out, but it's too packed here now. Mm. I see the one bedrooms and two bedrooms you can get in other places. I'm just like, so much nicer. So cheap. Mm -hmm. No, it's not so cheap. We're just really expensive here. Yeah, yeah, that's true. This is kind of off topic, but it's been really like the headline of this week. Did you see how Will Smith slept? Oh, yeah! You saw it? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Were you actually watching the show or did you just no. see like, clips of it? I saw it like right after it happened, like just circulating online. It was everywhere. Uh, everywhere on social media. It's like that's like the meme of Century now. Yeah. Right? I was more anticipating for the memes because I know they're going to be so funny. The comments section is where I first go to. The comment section is the best section ever. TikTok is so quick. There's so many parodies already. And like, mm -hmm. what do you guys think? Who's in the wrong? I feel like everyone is split from that. Yeah. So, so controversial. But you know Will Smith apologized. Yeah, yeah. I you read it. it? Yeah. 
<laughs> they you on top of it. I follow him. I love Will Smith. I'm a oh, fan. you're more on top of it than I am because mm-hmm. I read it through CNN. Oh my god, <laughs> no. I saw it as soon as he posted it. It was like 10 minutes ago. Dang. Yeah. I love Will Smith. I think he's a great actor. And he's, yeah. you know, he's an ENFP like me. I used to be an ENFP. Yeah. We kind of are like the same MBTI though. For yeah. sure. Yeah. I recently did it again and it was ESFP. The same thing. I used to be ENFJ and then went to ENFP and then went to EFSP. You change as your personality changes throughout the years, you know? Do you want to really? oh. Okay, so the camera... <laughs> the camera stops at a certain time limit and she goes over to turn on the camera again and she stepped on my toe and my toenail it split vertically, like... Wait, I stepped on that? Yeah. Your bum toe? I stepped on her bum toe! Oh my gosh, it's like... Oh my you god! See that? Dude, I'm so sorry, are you okay? Oh, what are the chances? <laughs> and I'm wearing slippers, so like, I think it hurt more. Oh. Like, look. <laughs> that's not our food oh my gosh, gosh. <laughs> my toenail is literally split down like this and it was bleeding oh so much oh my god i'm so sorry wait how did that even happen i hit my foot on the cement outside <gasps> were you like family just... guy like <sighs> no <laughs> <laughs> you know i do that sometimes when i put myself in the corner or something i'm like oh <laughs> my toes like oh <laughs> They curled, I'm like, oh. no, this one, it hit me later, like, it was one of those pains oh that come God. later on. Dude, I had no idea he split <laughs> I told you that I'm thing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You what? see, it's like dangling. It's dangling for its life. Yeah. <laughs> it's holding on to dear life, dude. <laughs> Just glue it together. No. Anywho, as we were saying, yeah. the whole Chris Rock and Will Smith situation, I understand both sides. Yeah. Honestly, don't start hating on us because of our opinions well personally i don't think it was that serious of a bad joke like i think chris rock was being kind of funny but i'm a little bit insensitive so i can take roast jokes like really well no i i feel the same way. right i don't know i feel like some things that comedians say have to just be taken as a joke mm-hmm. it's dark mm-hmm. humor i understand that it could have hurt her feelings mm-hmm. but was no. was laughing before it was. <laughs> i don't understand no, but she's really open about it. She's like, me and Alopecia are going to be friends. But, I mean, of course, it would suck to have that condition. Like, I feel very bad for her. But I thought she would take it more, like, um, lightly. Because she advocates for it so much. Yeah. No, I would understand it more if he looked offended right away. <laughs> but he was laughing. And he was at laughing. Her. That's like when he got up and hit him. I was like, oh, it's a joke. And I was like, oh, wait, no, he's serious. Yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? Everyone's opinion is different. But honestly, I wouldn't know unless I was in Jada's position. Yeah. I would be sensitive about hair loss since I'm a girl. So it's understandable. Will Smith has a temper. Like, he hit a news reporter for trying to kiss him before, too. Oh, really? Mm Mm-hmm. Honestly, Will Smith can get in trouble for that, dude. He can go to to jail. Yeah, that could be a lawsuit. Yeah. The whole world is a witness. (laughs) And Chris Rock could actually sue the Academy. So I feel like that put him in more danger, if anything, and I don't think that's something like women should be proud of, like, oh, defending their women. Yeah, violence never figures anything out at the end of the day. It just shows, like, lack of um, self-control, I think. Mm -hmm. But Chris Rock took that pretty well. Mm -hmm. He was pretty professional at the end. Yeah. I still love Will Smith, though. He's, like, one of the top, the best. And I can kind of, you know, separate... The art and the artist. Yeah, yeah, me too, me too. I can definitely... I wrote a whole essay on that in college, actually. You did? Yeah. Let us know what you guys think. I'm curious. Mm. Mm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm. I just can't get enough of the consomme. We're like soupy people, you know? Yeah, definitely. I'm just like picking it up at this point. Mm. Oh, so lemony. It's lemony, has that beef broth texture, and that cilantro. Mm-hmm. Wow, burrito tacos is amazing. Slaps. Mm-hmm. I drink all the mm. soup at this point. There's only meat in here. Yeah, good thing I got medium. You know, this will be really good on a rainy day. Oh, it was yeah. raining yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, I killed the soup. I wouldn't mind if they gave me less meat and more soup. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm full. 
on a cold weather, I would choose this over hot chocolate. Just like, oh yeah, hot chocolate. Nah. Yeah, I'm pretty full too. Can't see, but she's sleeping. She's so cute. She's One cute. hand always escapes the swallow. She's like, okay, she's good. Okay, guys, so we're super full. We'll probably just save the rest and eat it later. But thank you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Hit that like button, subscribe, post notification bell. Ding. If you haven't already, make sure to go and follow our TikTok account, join Instagram account, and we'll see you guys next episode. See you guys next.